Okay, so today we're going to look at uh, some questions here involving a really important little formula that will give you the equation of a line given the gradient and one point. I sometimes call it the gradient point formula. Gradient point formula. It enables you to get the equation given a point and a gradient. So if you've got a point like x1, y1, so x and y coordinate, and you've got a gradient, m, then you can form an equation by using the y minus y1 equals m outside of x minus x1 formula. And then when you get y by itself, you've got the equation for the line. So we're going to today start off with finding the equation of the straight line passing through those two points. Now, we'll get back to the two points in a minute, but what we need to find if we're going to use this formula is we actually have to find the gradient. So you might recall that the gradient formula was y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to label, and it doesn't matter which is which as long as I'm consistent with the ones and the twos. I'm going to label this point x1, y1, and this point x2, y2. Right, so we're now going to find the gradient. So by substituting into the formula, y2, which is negative 1, minus y1, which is 5, over x2, which is 1, minus x1. 1, which is negative 2, so minus negative 2. Got to be careful here with our positives and negatives. So minus 1 take 5 is minus 6. Over 1, a minus minus situation there is a positive, so 1 plus 2 is 3. So our gradient is negative 2, negative 6 divided by 3. So I've done that by um, applying the y minus y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 formula to those two points. So now I've got my m. Now I can use this formula here that I just introduced you to. I'll write it out again. y minus y1 equals m outside of x minus x1. Okay, now I can use, in fact, either point, but to save confusion, because I've already got this point here labelled as x1 and y1, I'm going to use this point here to go to the next step. So into this equation, we've got y, and you might be asking, what is y? y is a variable, we just leave it as y, minus y1, which is 5, see that up there, I'll just put an asterisk on top of it, so you can see, that's y1, equals m, which is negative 2, outside of x, the variable, minus x1, which is negative 2. So it's minus negative 2. Let's tidy up that bracket. So we've got y minus 5 equals negative 2 outside of x plus 2. Right, so we've reached that stage. Next step is to remove the brackets. y minus just undo that. Let's try that again. So y minus 5 equals negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. But the last thing we have to do is get y on one side and everything else on the other. So we've got minus 2x over here, minus 4. Now, you remember my chain sides, chain signs rule, that that negative 5 comes from left to right, becomes a positive 5. So, tidy that up, we get y equals minus 2x minus 4 plus 5, or 5 minus 4, is positive 1. That's the equation that joins a straight line. Let me review. First thing we do is find the gradient between the two points. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We then get our gradient, which is negative 2. We then apply this formula, which will be given to you in a test situation. y minus y1 equals m outside of x minus x1. 
put in y1 and x1, tidy up the bracket. Remove the bracket, move everything to one side except for the y. All right, let's move on to the next page for another question. This one is easier in one way and harder in another because here we've already got the gradient. Remember in the last question, we actually had to work the gradient out. So we've got it here. Find the equation of the line with the gradient of negative two, which just passes through the point three, negative four. Now here's the tricky bit. Write the equation in general form. That is ax plus bx plus y equals zero. To put that simply, it means put everything on the left, okay, and zero on the right. I'll show you how that works in a minute. Bit of a tricky step, but we'll get there. Well, I'm going to write down what I've got in the question. m equals negative two. And uh, we've got our point, which is three comma negative four. So three is my x1 and negative four is my y1. So here we go with the formula that I talked to you about in the previous question. y minus y1 equals m outside of x minus x1. Okay, we've got our three things. We've got our m, our x1, and our y1. So y minus y1, y minus minus four equals m, which is negative two, outside of x minus x1, which is three. A minus minus four is a plus four. So y plus four equals, and let's remove the brackets in the same step. So we've got minus two x, negative two times negative three, negative times a negative is a positive six. Okay. All right, now, what's this business here, this general form stuff? Let's talk about that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put an equal zero there. Anything that's already on the left is just going to stay there. So y plus 4. And I'm going to bring this stuff on the right to the left. Change size, change signs. So it becomes a plus 2x minus 6. All right. Now, what it wants us to do is put the x's first. So we've got 2x followed by the y's, okay, plus y, followed by whatever number we've got. 4 minus 6 is negative 2 equals 0. So just repeating that last step, a bit tricky. It wants everything on the left, 0 on the right. So to do that, I just take anything that's on the right, Switch it over to the left, I change the signs. The minus 2x becomes a positive 2x. The plus 6 becomes a minus 6 or negative 6. Then I just put in the correct order and I collect the like numbers there. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. So there we go. There's a couple of questions using that formula. Y minus Y1 equals M outside of X minus X1.